Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now holds it on a Money and Phoenix channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to burn an image to an SD card for use for the Raspberry Pi. So like for example, you can convert your Raspberry Pi into a home theater center using a distro called OpenELEC. Or there's another one here called RAS BM BMC, which basically converts your Raspberry Pi into a mini supercomputer for XBMC, playing your movies, uh, audio, um, surf the internet, YouTube, you know, good things like that. Or if you want to download other things like different OS's for the Raspberry Pi, you can download those images and also use the same method. So go ahead, download whatever image or OS that you're interested in. And then you're also going to need a copy of Win32 Disk Imager, which is a free program. Go to the more info section. I'll have some links to this program as well as to other popular distros that you can go ahead and download. So for purposes of this tutorial, what I have is, let me go to my folder here, I have Win32 Disk Imager already extracted and I also downloaded the latest version, OpenELEC Raspberry Pi 324 version. So let's go ahead and run my Win32 Disk Imager program. And it's pretty simple over here, select your device, make sure you select the correct partition. How do you verify what is the correct partition? Go to your computer, insert your SD card into your laptop or computer and make sure it's under removable storage. So mine is letter H for example, so I'm going to select H click on this folder icon and then from there go ahead navigate to your image wherever it's going to be so I have my open elect on my desktop go ahead and select that image file and then I'm going to click on write and it says do you want to continue say yes and then it's going to go ahead and proceed to write this image to my SD card now for SD cards for Raspberry Pi a lot of users even myself recommend like a class 10 but you don't have a class 10 I've used a, both the class 6 and the class 4 and they are sufficient and I've used SD cards as low as 2 gigabytes as high as 16 gigabytes without any issues once this image has fully completed successfully writing itself after 100% eject the disk go ahead insert that into your Raspberry Pi connect your HDMI cable connect power to your Raspberry Pi turn on your TV and you're good to go and you're going to boot into that particular distro. If for whatever reason you have issues booting up, I suggest you either try a different SD card or just read down the image because maybe it's corrupted. And then that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. This is the first tutorial of many for the Raspberry Pi. So in my other videos, I may reference this video to show you how to do this. And if you go to the more info section, I got links to different OS's and different distros that you can go ahead download and try out yourself. So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. If you like this type of video, like, favorite, subscribe. Otherwise, if you've got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.